Yo, City, it's your girl, Brie, reporting live with the latest show on Broken TV. I got a high new interview for y'all tonight. I did get your princess and Max Maxim. Guess what? She's also a doctor. How amazing is that? Also, shout out to Big Cook. Okay? Video City, let's get right into it. Hey Video City, what's up? It's your girl here, Miss Green, the Jamaican princess, and we are back with another great episode of Video City, the quarantine edition. And I'm going to say I cannot wait to get back out there, get back into Times Square, and just, just have a ball. So right now, we have a very special, very amazing, and unique artist. We have Max Maxim in the building, and she's going to talk to us about her, her life, her background, her music. And guys, check it out. She's also a doctor. Now, I don't come across a lot of musicians who are doctors or doctors who are musicians. I don't really know how she wants to spin it, but we're going to find out right now. She's also from the DMV area. Max Maxim, how are you doing today? Oh, I am doing awesome. And just being on your show, I'm doing even way awesome than I would have ever imagined. I'm so glad. And you look beautiful. I love the background. You're kind of upstaging me right now. I don't, li I don't like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love it. It's sparkly. It's doing so much for you right now. I love it. <laughs> okay. So, well, thank you. That's awesome. my goal, actually. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love it. So, let's talk about you. So, you're a doctor and you're a musician. Or are you a musician as a doctor? How, how would you like to describe that? Well, first of all, I'm Max Maxime. I'm originally from Washington, D.C. I'm an artist, songwriter, actress, uh, movie director, entrepreneur, and a doctor. Come through titles. Come through titles. <laughs> That's awesome. So how long have you been performing, singing? Well... I started singing at age 11 um, as gospel uh, in church as a gospel singer. Um, I grew up in a pretty Christian family and singing in church was just not an option you can get out of. So that's where I actually started as a gospel singer and throughout my young life I was on television cultures, shows, CR in, in Cameroon National TV, where I come from, 237, what's up? Um, so coming to the United States, um, pretty much my dad had groomed me to be a medical doctor. He told me you have to do medicine. So most of my high school, I did sciences, and so it was only natural, especially when you when you when you're African, when you come in, when you grew when you're born and you grow up in Africa, going to school is also not an option. So you have to pick a career. So medicine was ingrained in me from a very young age. So I kind of already knew uh, Im immigrating to the U.S. that I was going to go through medical school. I was going to be a doctor. Singing was a passion. Um, and when I got here, I was privileged to join a musical band. And so throughout my prerequisites to, towards medical school, we did, I did karaoke, live music um, with a band throughout different states, Maryland, New York, New Jersey. So it, it was an awesome experience. But then I got to a point where uh, I had to go into medical school. Um, so I literally stopped music and I went to school. I actually went to medical school in the Caribbean. I went to uh, medical school in Bonaire in, in, in the Caribbean. So there was no music at all for close to four years. Um, and then when I, as soon as I got back to, uh, from, from, from going through medical school, I met Big Hooks. And that's George from Germany. He came uh, to, he came to an event in the U.S. He was promoting his album at the time. So when we met at the function where he was uh, doing his promotions, he, I was the, uh, 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 
mistress of ceremony i was the mc at that event and so he asked we got to talking and i got interested in his background the musical background and i told him i could sing he was like are you sure you can sing i mean you're in school medical school all of these things where where would music come into play i was like try me <laughs> So, I see. That's just how it started and I ended up flying to Germany for a whole week and all we did was write songs um and by the time we were done I had a full album one of the uh we had Mike Jones in there Young Six from California it, it, it was a great experience for me because I, I don't know most people don't understand music uh the way it should be but I had no knowledge I didn't even know how to write a song or what verses I had never been to a studio before so that was literally my first experience wow congratulations on the whole features you said you had Mike Jones and everything that's big congratulations what well, what is your specialty in the medical field primary care primary care okay okay amazing so how do you balance now the music and being a doctor because i know you must be super busy yeah um if if you have a passion for something number one there's always time for it mm -hmm. so uh i have my own clinical practice and then i also work for other organizations usually like most of last year i worked on my album i would literally uh, my album was produced in uh atlanta uh with lexi so yeah. friday i would board a plane i'm in atlanta saturday i'm recording all day sunday i return monday and back at work so once my album was done or if i had a single that that was to be released then we start on the marketing we start on the promotions we talk about the video shoot and i literally would do the same thing where my weekends i'm doing music my weekdays i'm doing i'm working um uh, my medical practice because it's something that both i'm extremely passionate about helping people i'm extremely passionate about being about being a community leader so i it, it, there's no way i can get rid of either one of them Mm -hmm. You're very busy, very busy individual. I mean, I really appreciate that like as a woman on top of that. Blessings to you, Queen. So, let's talk about your music video Stranger. How did that concept come about? Did you put together those words yourself? Well, actually, when I was working on Strangers, we uh we were Straight Team Entertainment. We were signed at the time with Sony Music uh and so the the uh Aaronar heard the track i had him hear the track and so we worked on the hook line he wanted it i, I originally wanted it the opposite of what it is now so he said well when you think about the way that uh, I, originally i wanted the song to say um i i don't need your loving mm -hmm. and but then he said most people want to be loved Mm -hmm. so he said, but don't you say i need your loving so the hook line literally was air nard into the track and then um lex in in atlanta also did the the verses and i did some of the writing so at least three uh, the song has really been put together by three three people together uh but To me the concept is pretty amazing it's literally about a woman that has her own thing uh but she has um a relationship in which she's not satisfied and the man is always away busy doing his own thing but he thinks what he's doing is enough mm -hmm. there's too many <laughs> of those men out here walking around it's not not happening so what do you have in the works so do we expect any more music another ep album anything oh yes definitely uh first of all i will definitely be looking at a, a world virtual tour soon oh, wow. um, i have a management team in russia in france and of course we have germany 
Mm-hmm. So I'm looking uh, forward to Jamaica at the end of the year to possibly try to meet up with Beanie Man and Egyptian uh, to try to get the music videos over there. I hear you're Jamaican, so. I, my name, Jamaica Princess. And yo, I am so excited to hear that. Are you going to actually fly down to Jamaica to get that done? I am definitely 100% certain I'm going to do just that. Okay, I need to know when. <laughs> You know what? Sidebar that, we will get to it. Because <laughs> I need to be there. I want to be there. Just to support. Okay? No, I need you. I need you. I will definitely 100% have you there if you would want to oh, be awesome. there. I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, um, you have any special shout outs? Like anyone you want to thank for this just amazing work that you've been doing? First of all, I'd like to say that you guys are doing some amazing work. I have followed you guys through big hooks for like, this is like the biggest privilege of my music career because I kept, I have been bugging hooks for like the last four years. Like I need Video City, I need Video City. He's like, okay, no problem. I can get you to Doug and Jamaican Princess. It's no big deal, but are you ready? I'm like, of course I'm ready. Yes, so I, I love awesome. Big I saw you guys work uh, work up uh, Make and Millie. Oh my God, it, it really blew it out. So mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to really having a, a working uh, experience with you guys. Like mm-hmm. I, I could see every time you guys did promotions for him, it came through. It, it's just really been amazing to have you guys on board with Straight Team Entertainment. Mm-hmm. I think you guys have really made a difference in uh, in the label moving forward. Yeah. So I do remember you saying, you know, you're a doctor and we absolutely love that. On top of that, being a musician. But, you know, it's like a whole pandemic out here. So just like what has it been like, you know, just going through this whole thing, being a doctor, what has that been like for you? Well, first of all, my heart goes out to everyone that's either been sick from COVID-19, who's loved loved ones. Um, I actually lost a cousin as well. Uh, Remember when this started in February, everybody was in shock. Everybody had to do a complete lifestyle change. Um, People were divided into essential workers and non-essential workers. Uh, First of all, the the COVID-19 presents as flu symptoms, which we all know now over the the, the months that are coming. It's not just the fever, the chills, the uh, now you're having running stomach, you're having diarrhea, and then now you're down to people that are just carrying the virus. Uh, so you don't know who has it or who doesn't have it. And the precautions of wearing a face mask, wearing uh, social distancing, and, and and not shaking hands, hand sanitizing is the biggest key to it. There has been so much contro- controversy uh, about COVID-19. I will say this uh, as, as a clinician, you have to follow your doctor's advice um, when it comes to this. There's been a big thing with the the treatment protocol that came out a few weeks ago with Donald Trump and Dr. Steller. Uh, I don't want to go too deep into it because I know you guys don't have time. I could talk about this all night. Again, I can say that follow your doctor's advice if you are actually really sick and if whatever regimen that they have you on, best and believe they are your doctors they are your primary care they have your best interests at heart and it's based on your medical condition there's healthy people that can take certain drugs and nothing happens to them there's sick people there are people with cardiac problems that can't handle certain drugs and there's people that plain out have allergies to things so just because uh, a one doctor says this works doesn't mean it's going to work for you or your body your doctor has to come first that's what i would say uh about the treatment for covid uh apart from doing all the precautions that you need to do to to not get this virus i uh, i i have treated over three four hundred uh covid patients from all age groups and i will say this to you we did not use hydroxy chloroquine again i don't want to go viral with this <laughs> but i'm just saying people 
with uh, uh, people will get well. Okay, you know, the 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 most important thing is your doctor have will have a plan based on your your medical profile. If you fit the profile of someone that can use hydroxychloroquine, Zetramax, and zinc, by all means, uh, uh, hydroxychloroquine is an off-label drug as considered by the Federal Drug Administration, which is the FDA. So yes, your doctor is allowed to prescribe it. It's an off-label use. It has not been proven by the FDA that this is a COVID drug, but doctors are allowed to prescribe it as off-label because there are expert witnesses that say that this drug helps to prevent uh, worsening symptoms of COVID or in, in most case scenario can be used as prophylaxis. So I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I want someone to use this, use that. No, you have a medical team. That's what they're there for. They're there for you, your best interest. If you have flu symptoms, go check it out, get the test done. It's now free throughout the United States. And if your symptoms are getting worse and you can't stay home anymore, check into an emergency room, call your doctor for a plan of care. Please, America, do this. Uh, thank you so much for that advice. And I hope everyone that's listening and watching this, please take heed to what she's saying. It's so serious. It's so important. Look, I've been stuck inside my home. Like, I'm not, like, no, it's not happening. So yes, thank you so much. We appreciate you guys so, so much. You guys are definitely heroic in this whole pandemic. Like, it's just been crazy. Thank you for your service. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's it's been scary, but uh, we've been staying healthy. And by the way, this is my month of August. This is my t-shirt, guys. Uh, Wait, are you a Leo? Huh? Are you a Leo? I'm a Leo! Oh yeah! That's what, why I told what, what's so your much. Birthday? What's your birthday? August 19. That's why I had to do this. Girl, girl, <laughs> guess what my birthday is? What? Guess. August 19. Seriously, we wish I could drive to New York right now. So you I, know we can't get away from no each other. Idea. I knew it. I like, ooh, I love it. I love it. We already clicked. We already clicked. Already you clicked. Want my birthday. That's so amazing. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. That means I would never spend a single birthday without you. You know, you, okay, we, I have to have you on my phone after this. We have to take some yes. after this. I love yes. this. He knows this already. So yes. we have to stay connected after this. Like it's, it's just, we have to. This point is meant to be, okay? I want the whole world to know where we can find you, where we can follow you on social media, all of it. Okay, so it's uh, M-A-X Max. Maxim, M-A-Z-Z-I-M. I'm on Facebook as Max Maxim, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, so literally online, if you reach out to me, I will reach right back to you. Awesome. And one last thing, if there's any last like advice or any last like goal, like what are you trying to accomplish overall, especially as a singer, just like, any last positive notes? What would, what would that be? Well, I, I would say my positive note would be to uh, the people aspiring to be artists. Uh, again, this is going to be the longest and the biggest challenge of your life. Mm -hmm. And especially coming from the female standpoint of view, it's so much harder for us because a lot of the times you will run across men that want to give you all these things, but for what? Either they want something from you that you're really not ready to give. Uh, they tell you you look pretty. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But then, because I literally had someone tell me he's going to give me a ring and make me a star. So my whole thing is work hard for you. Mm -hmm. Have a career as a backup, something mm -hmm. that will make money that will get you more satisfied in your musical career than trying to always trying to get from here and there, find people that can give 
here and there is so much frustrating. But when you're your own person, when you have a career, when you have money that you can invest in yourself, um, this is America. This is the greatest country in the world. Literally every profession pays tons of money. So don't limit yourself to singing music or to trying to make it big, trying to get signed to a label. Just enjoy life for what it is and embrace your talent. They may be multiple, but if you stick to just music, the road could be long and disappointing and filled with headaches. Uh, so my thing to people is follow your dreams, but be cautious about it and learn all the time that not everybody that comes to you that says they can make you this person will actually make you that to be that person. That was amazing advice. Thank you for that. Especially as a fellow artist myself, I definitely will take that as well. Thank you. I appreciated that. So Video City, you know what we're going to do right now. We're going to introduce the lovely Max Maxim music video with strangers. Video City, please take it away for this lovely Leo Queen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. The beat maker, the hit maker, the hit maker. The hit maker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just need your love.
And that was Max Maxim's music video with Strangers. Amazing video. I love the visuals, by the way. Max, is there any special shout outs or anything that you like to say finally? Yes, um, I want to shout out to all my fans all over the world, uh, my uh, management team in France, Ernest, my management team in Russia, Max G. Uh, I want to give a really big shout out to Big Hooks and Lexi, who are my main management team uh, um, producers. They've done an amazing job um, trying to get my music out there. Uh, I can't say thank you enough to these guys. Uh, literally just to everyone that has uh, has been a factor in Max Maxine, I say thank you and thank you. And please continue to support and follow my music. Amazing. Thank you so much, Max. We appreciate you so much. And thank you so much for your services. God bless you. Video City, thank you so much, guys. Have a great one. I hope you guys enjoyed that interview with Jamaican Princess and Max Maxim. But next, let's get right into our video. We have done it with his hot new single, Benito. All the way from Manhattan, Video City, take it away. Hey, hey. She calling Benito, Benito. I am by this ain't finito. Yeah, uh. There you go, you got me thinking, you got me thinking. It's playing out before my eyes. Yeah, you know the clock is ticking, you know the clock is ticking. So I stay late up tonight. There you go, you got me thinking. Benito, Benito. It's playing out before my eyes. Benito, Benito. Yeah, you know the clock is ticking. Benito, Benito. So I stay late up tonight. Hey, look. Haven't seen you, haven't seen Not you. for a minute, yeah. for a minute. This time's past. Yeah. I see you with it. You got your eyes locked on. You see I'm hypnotized. As it's playing in her head. Now, now she says she calling Benito, Benito. High and by this ain't finito. Hot and cold, hot and dry. Hit the crib. What do you mean? Don't she be liking what I'm saying? In my feelings, oh, there she goes. She be loving me for hours, but she'll be back here tomorrow. Yeah, crazy in my feelings. All this miscommunication, all the untied loose ends, the back and forth, no concentrating. I have her for that moment. Can't believe how bad I want it. She's heading back to bed, so she kisses me instead. Gone with the music. Yeah, yeah. There you go, you got me thinking. It's playing out before my eyes. Before my eyes. Yeah, you know the clock is ticking, clock is ticking. So I stay late up tonight. Yeah, you go, you got me thinking. Yeah, you got me thinking. It's playing up before my eyes. It's playing up before my eyes. Yeah, you know the clock is ticking. Let me stop it, let me So I stay late up tonight. So I stay late up tonight. No, they don't compare. Look around.